what up guys stranger things back again with another video and in today's video right i'll be doing a quick summary of my nft experience thus far with the year 2021 ending and i'll be talking about three things the first and second will be projects that i currently hold and i'm very bullish on and the third will be about two projects that i'm currently looking at and they are meeting soon so you're gonna want to keep a close lookout on those projects but before we start right i just want to preface it by this article that i'm sharing on my screen right now basically it says that nft sales volume has surged to over 12 billion dollars and i definitely think that they're going to be staying 2022 and beyond shout out to a good friend of mine who wrote this article i do encourage you to check it out it's very beginner friendly for those who are wanting to learn more about nfts and make a more well-informed decision about whether you should be getting involved with nfts in the future i'll be linking it in the description below so check it out and without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. The first project that I'm going to be talking about is one that I'm personally invested in, and this is Project Gojira. So Project Gojira, if I had to summarize what it was about, I think this tweet does it best. So essentially, it is more than just an NFT project, right? It is about the strong community that you get to be a part of when you are a holder of a Gojira project. And good news to everyone watching this video, if you watch to the end, I'll be sharing with you how you can get access to our Discord channel for Project Gojira. So you're gonna wanna stick around for that. But essentially, this community, right, lends us to many great partnerships and collaborations with other very premium NFT projects, right? We're able to win whitelist spots, we're able to come up with very synergistic opportunities for the team to reward the holders of the NFT. And we're also going to be doing a lot of first time ever in the NFT space. To me, Project Gojira is really just like a family to me. It's one of the best NFT mints that i've ever done i actually minted the genesis piece just a couple of days ago there were only 333 pieces but there will be a gen 2 coming up next which is why you're going to want to get into this space this is one that i heavily advocate project gojira do go check it out these are some of the giveaways that they've been doing right so look at it it's you know this is nano pass right this giveaway we have immortal phoenix disto apes cool man which you know did like a 3x from its mint you know, there are so many projects that are being given out what list all the time, right? And also besides this, we also have other channels, you know, you can just talk about mental health, you can chill with us in the Godzilla lair. And also we have a channel, you know, on videos, you know, we participated in the New Tokyo video and a couple of other stuff. So it's very fun community overall, definitely one that I'll be holding for the long term. Now with that, right, I just want to share a few more other things. Just have a look at the Twitter feed searching up on Project Gojira community to get a sense of, you know, how strong this community is, right? I really think this is one for the long term, if I haven't said it enough. Some are about the giveaways, and this is also something that was pretty special, right? Our co-founder, actually, Shan, actually offered one of the members 0.2 ETH for the whitelist spot that he earned for minting the Project Gojira. I guarantee you won't be seeing it in a lot of NFT projects, right? Most people just want to mint. Who offers their members ether in exchange for the whitelist spot back? So this is really very rare. And essentially what happened next was that that 0.2 ETH was actually used to mean a nano pass and that nano pass netted the user 1.6 ETH. So talk about a return on investment, right? That is instantly a 1.4 ETH profit even without minting a Gojira. So this is just some of the special things that are happening in the Gojira space. Do check them out. I'm going to have to go to the next project. And the next project that I'm talking about is nano pass which was mentioned earlier. So the reason why it was able to sell out for 1.6 ETH, right? And some people managed to sell for 2 ETH plus and beyond. And the minting price is only 0.1 ETH is because this NanoPass roadmap is fantastic, right? So what is NanoPass? NanoPass is essentially an early access pass and it's also a plot of virtual land in the Nanoverse. Now, the NanoPass also grants weekly black boxes in perpetuity while you hold a pass. And you are also able to gain access to phase two of a much larger project in the future called Project Subnet. So what is so special about this black box, right? Black box is actually containing valuable loot. And so this loot could be physical goods, it could be other popular NFTs, or you know, it could be a donation to a charitable cause. I think this is very appealing, but it's definitely not the main appeal. If you look at the roadmap that the NanoPass team has published, right? You will know that beyond just what is shown here, right? They are also going to be working on some other partnerships with other NFT drops 
But the main thing that they're working on, right, is also this AI assistant. It's essentially going to be help you to be able to do some of your tasks better, whether they are related to the NFT space or not. So really, really very excited for that. And obviously, all of these are only for NanoPass holders. So do check them out. NanoPass, try to get your hands on some in the secondary market while it's currently dipping. The floor, the last time I checked, was about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 ETH. We'll, we'll just see how it goes, right? Now, on to the projects that I think you should be keeping a lookout for. The first one is Project Wolves. So Wolves is actually just pixel art. I really love this pixel art and it's going to be minting really soon, December 27th, just a few days from now. I think this is going to be one project that if you can get your hands on the mint, you are going to be able to flip for good profit or you could just hold it, right? Wolves essentially earn their own token as well. And the token is able to be used for breeding purposes. You can use it to evolve your wolf. And so this is one project that you're really going to want to have to keep a lookout for. I think the project team's pretty good, community is pretty good. I managed to win a white list spot, but it wasn't easy. So, but there are still white list spots available. So, yeah, do try your hand on this one. And now, second project that I'm going to be talking about is actually Dreamland Genesis. So, Dreamland Genesis is actually another project with very lofty ambitions, right? I think the roadmap is great. The art is great. They also have a partnership with Project Kojira, and the founder is very nice. They have many great partnerships with other projects as well. And they also have special benefits for holders of the one of one dreamers. This is another project that you're going to be wanting to keep a lookout for. They also have limited access to their Discord channel. So do keep a close lookout on their Twitter page where once in a while they will be releasing Discord access. So these are the two projects, Bulls and Dreamland Genesis that you're going to want to keep a lookout for. Both are meeting pretty soon. Keep your eyes peeled to their Discord channel. Remember to follow them turn on your notifications and now without further ado i'm just going to be sharing how you can win yourself access to the project gojira discord channel you're going to want to have to comment on this channel and yet yeah, you can also follow my twitter page which i'll be displaying somewhere around this video for extra chances i wish you the best of luck thanks for watching remember to like this video if you enjoyed this content and subscribe if you don't want to miss out more of it comment down below what you think i should cover next I think this might be my final video for December, so see you again, Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year.